Hello and hi, welcome to Yiddishobit.net and welcome to Halacha of the Week, week number 52. Today's question which was addressed to the Chief Rabbi Mordechai Elio is, Rabbi, a woman who is late by lighting the candles for Shabbat by a few minutes, can she continue lighting the candles or does she give it over to her husband to light? So this actually, this question, we have to understand what's the whole idea, meaning a woman has to light candles for Shabbat. Why her? Why not the husband? In fact, the halacha says that if the husband wants to light, he, ha- he has to get permission from the wife to light. So why is it that it's a wife's obligation? Because the wife is known as the bait. Anytime it talks about the woman in the Torah, and it doesn't say her directly, it says bait. It says bit. It says the house or the home. Why? Because she is the one that runs it. Without her, she, without her being the foundation of the home, the home is basically nothing. So now that these lights that bring light, that bring warmth for Shabbat, it's her obligation to keep it going because she's the one that's closer to that mitzvah than the man is. So now that we understand that the woman, she's the one who has the light, comes a time period which is the 18 minutes. 18 minutes is the added allotted time to Shabbat. Meaning, Shabbat starts at sunset. 18 minutes before sunset, we begin Shabbat with this additive, meaning this uh, this 18 minutes. So the question is that she went beyond these 18 minutes. Now there's 10 minutes left till Shabbat, until sunset. Can she still light or not? Because it comes to a timing where she is not able to light. You know, 18 minutes she shouldn't light. Or maybe she should. What's the halakha? Can she light? There's 10 minutes left. Or should she give it to her husband in order to light? So he answers and he says very clearly that a woman who is late by such a situation and there's only, let's say, 10 minutes left, she must be the one to light and to say the bracha. She doesn't give it over to the husband. It's up to her. It's her obligation. And it's uh, and it's and she's the one who has to take care and do the job because she's the house. And the whole 18 minutes is just as an additive for her in order to make a safeguard so she won't go into Shabbat. And also that she's adding holiness of the weekday onto Shabbat. The fact that there's still time to sunset, you're still fulfilling that additive of adding weekday time to Shabbat. And she can still light even though she's gone into the 18 minutes. So once again, a woman who is late in in lighting the candles, she may continue to light all the way till a few minutes before sunset. And in such a situation where it's very close to sunset, then she can give it to her husband because let's say three minutes left the sunset and she wants to have that additive, then she can do that. And he continues the answer, the, the final part of the question. If im avra zeman ze o shekebla le shabbat, pape, kodem ena yichola la lik, ava yichola no mala chem shaliku nerot. It says that, let's say if it comes 10 minutes left to shabbat, and now five minutes left to shabbat, she already accepted this Shabbat with her mouth and her heart and her heart. She can still say to others, meaning her husband, in order to light the candles. That's the final situation. I want to wish you a beautiful day. Take-